All right, we're going to take a look at a cool little uh, problem in mechanics where you have a, a chain that is uh, com um, completely uniform. So we're given the total mass is m and the length is l. So it's just a long uh, uniform chain. And what happens in the problem is you cut the, the string maybe holding up this chain at the top and the chain just starts to fall on the scale. So you initially have it set up so there's none of the chain is on the scale. It's like just barely above, so the scale reads zero. Then you cut it, and then the way the problem goes is you're supposed to figure out what the reading on the scale is when, when half the chain is down. Um, and we may even add on at the end what you get like right at the instant the whole chain is down too. And so um, what you'll notice here is that, you know it's not as simple as just saying, oh, there's half the, half the chains on the scale, so the scale reads half the weight. Because um, you also have the next piece of chain is like punching actively down into the, into the scale. And so what we want to do here is think about what's actually contributing to the reading on the scale. So the reading on the scale, there's going to be a couple factors. Um, there's going to be, well, the, the weight of the chain that is already on the scale. Already on the scale. Right, and then we basically have to change the, the momentum. We have to push upward, the scale has to push upward to change the momentum of that last little chunk or the chunk of chain that's heading right now, okay? So what we need to do is then, and it's plus, um, and basically, uh, you know, delta P, delta T, change in momentum with time um, of the, the last little, um, the little piece of chain that's hitting right now. Okay, so we gotta we gotta find for this little piece of chain that's hitting, we gotta find out what a change in momentum would be. Well, so one useful way to set this up is think about a little piece of the chain that I'm just gonna call dm. So that's a little mass that's like bang, this this little chunk of it is hitting the uh, scale right now. Now that chunk of chain used to be here. Right? And it's so it's just falling, and what happens is the scale has to reduce the speed of that chain, that chunk, from however fast it was going down to zero, um, right? So, right, delta P, if you want, is going to be the mass, dm, times its change in velocity, right? So what we need to do is figure out, like, how fast is that little piece going, like, right when it hits? Well, that's a pretty easy little thing, because all we got to do is figure out if you drop a little chunk of chain, uh, L over 2, um, how fast is something falling when it's fallen that far, when it's fallen L over 2. Um, so that's really just saying if you drop something that from, from that height, how fast is it going to impact? Um, so you can just say, for instance, using energy, for example, you could say E before is E after. Okay, so the energy before of this thing it would be like potential energy, mgh, or if you want, we can keep calling it dm, dm times g times the height of l over 2. That's just mgh. And then equals 1 half mv squared. 1 half, let's just keep calling that mass dm, no big deal, um, v squared. So, so that little chunk of mass um, doesn't really matter what it weighs there, for getting the speed that it's going to hit with. And so the 2's would cancel, and you get v is root gl. So that's how fast that little chunk hits, right? So we're, we're pretty close here. What we've got then is we've got the weight of the chain already on the scale. That's half the weight of a chain. So that would be half big MG plus dm, right? And now this change in velocity, well, it goes from root GL down to zero. So the, the change in velocity it's going to experience when it hits is root GL, right? Now what we need to do is figure out what this little what this little chunk actually weighs. Um, this little bit of the chain, right? Well, what would I need to know to know about how much this little piece weighs? Well, I know the whole length weighs m. So if I knew what like fraction of the length this is, um, then I would be able to figure out how much it weighs. Well, the um, the length of this thing, right, it's an infinitesimal little chunk of chain, so we'll call it like dx, right? 
So the fraction of length that it represents would be like dx over L. Um, that's the fraction of the total. Well, if the total length is, or total mass is m, then the mass of this little piece would be the fraction of the length times the total mass. Okay. Um, sometimes people see it this way, or sometimes people will just think of it as another way to write this. You could say really the mass would be mass per length times length. And so you might think of it as m over l, that's the mass per length of the whole chain, and then like how long is this? It's dx. So either way you get m over l dx for, the, for how much this little piece weighs. Right? Well, so if we put that in here, going back over here, we've got half mg plus, right, now this is going to be m over l dx, you get m over l dx root gl, right, and then this is a little wiggle in time, a little delta time, a little dt, but dx dt, a little wiggle in position divided by a little wiggle in time, that's how fast the chain is going. So that's, that itself is another velocity. So this thing here is V again, right? But what's, what V is this? It's, you know, how fast is the chain going at impact? So we actually already found that, it's root GL. And so to finish this off, you get one half MG plus M over L, um, root GL, root GL. Almost done. One half mg plus all the l's are going to go away because you have uh, an l to the first power downstairs, and then l to the half times l to the half, so an l to the first uh, up top, um, and then you have root g times root g, which just gives you g. So that's going to be another mg this term, and so what you get is this funny result that the weight, the reading on the scale would then be three halves mg. So you have one half mg from the chain that's already down on the scale, and then you have an additional full mg, and what that is coming from is that is the scale pushing upward to decelerate this chunk of mass from root g over l down to zero. So you're changing the momentum of that little chunk of the chain, right? So that's for half the chain. It would read, it would actually read three halves the weight of what's already down there. To do the full chain, so like if we say um, how much is on there when the full chain has fallen, um, so just to erase this part really quick. Right. This would be the weight already on the scale, which would be right when the last link is hitting, you'd basically have the whole chain on the scale, mg, right? Um, plus, and then you would do this same exact thing, but thinking about this la very last link here following the full L instead of L over two. Um, so when something falls a distance L, all you can gotta do is go back to our work here and say, well, the energy before would be like MGL uh, equals one half MV squared. So this will be root two GL would be the speed that this thing hits with, root two GL. And then just going back through the, you know, the work that we had done before, right, this was, um, dm um, dm times the velocity, which would be root g two gl um, over that dt, right? And then just playing around with this again, that dm was m over l dx, so you get mg plus this is m over l dx root two gl dt. Um, but again, this dx dt is also the speed. So you get another factor of root 2gl. So you get mg plus m over l times root 2gl times root 2gl, which would be 2gl. Um, and so you can see you get mg plus 2mg, or 3mg. So you, um, you get this kind of you know, surprising result that you snip this thing, let it fall. Right when that last link of chain is hitting, it's going to read three times the weight of the whole chain. Uh, that last bit of chain is going fast, so it packs quite a punch. The scale really has to push up to rob it of the downward momentum that it has. Um, so this term ends up being pretty big. It ends up actually being double the weight of the whole chain. 
Um, so those are the two contributions to the weight. Right when this last link is hitting, um, you would have three times the weight of the chain as the reading on the scale. Um, and then wait another instant past that after everything has stopped is down, then of course this will just settle down to the weight of the chain. It'll drop back down to just MG um, if you wait a while. Um, so hopefully that made some sense and good luck.